Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be uh, tying a few jigs up. I'm gonna show you the basics on how to do this, the tools you need to get started. And it's it's really simple to get started and it, it's, it don't cost a whole lot. And it's, it's something to do to pass the time too. Uh, if the weather's crappy outside, not a good day to be on the lake, it's always fun to come in here and tie a few jigs up. Now I'm getting low on some of my winter time colors. So I've come in here today to try to tie some up for you. And uh, let me show you my setup real quick. All right, this is my little uh, desk I have set up down the corner of my basement and I keep my stuff in. As you can see, these are the ones I've tied today, just a few colors that I'll be using here pretty soon. And over here, I just have a homemade little deal. I keep my stuff. I've got some craft fur. I got some marabou, a couple different colors. I got my chanels on the bottom. And over here, I have a couple colors of flash that I put on some of them. And down here, you can see my jigs. I have several different colors and sizes. And this right here is my little starter kit I bought at Cabela's for like 30 bucks. It's got the vise, the scissors, the threader, and uh, several other, other tools there that you can use to help you out, but I don't really use too much of it. I just use the vise and the scissors and the and one of the threaders. Uh, some of the other stuff that you'll need right here is I keep a set of pliers in here. Here's another set of scissors to cut bigger stuff like the stems and stuff on that marabou. And uh, these scissors here, they came with a the kit. They're just uh, very small. You can cut your tag ends off your jigs just to clean it up and look good. And of course I got me a little thing of glue here. That's what your uh, spool of thread goes on that came with the kit. And I just have some basic colors laying out here that I use quite a bit. That's pretty much my setup. Over here I have a few extra colors and stuff. Don't have room to hang up. So let's get started. All right, the jig we're gonna start with today is this right here. This is one of my favorite crappie jigs to throw in the winter time. As you can see, it's got the uh, chartreuse uh, Mary Boo hair in it. It's got the green flash chenille right there. And then on this head, it's got kind of some yellow and orange. It's got some red eyes. Uh, a lot of time in the winter time, especially here on the, my home lake, the water can be a little bit stained or murky at times. So these this color jig works really good for me here on my home water. All right, we're gonna start out with our jig head here. As you can see, it's got these grooves for if you wanna put like a tube or something on it. So what I'll do is I'll take the pliers and just kind of crush these down. Cause if you don't, your, your jig's not gonna be real uniform. You'll have a, a lump in it and stuff. So I just kind of break that off right there, smooth it up just a little bit. That's what the pliers are for. And we'll go over here to our vise. Put the jig head down, clamp it on there real good. All right, we'll get our threader here, let some slack out. What I'll do is I'll start from back here on the back of this jig and I'll run this line all the way up until it gets close to the end there. Then I'll make two two or three just real loose knots and that holds that up there. Then once I get it where it holds, I come, I make a real tight run real close together. And what we're doing is providing a foundation to tie everything to. And once I get off this end back here, I like to go just a little bit farther. Once we get back there, we'll come back up. We'll work our way all the way back up to the head of the jig. All right, so we got our base on there. If you want to, you can go ahead and cut that little tag end off. It ain't going nowhere. And the next thing we're going to do is get our uh, marabou out. 
That's our chartreuse. We will get a, I like to get about two of them together. It's probably a little overkill. And what I'll do is I'll fan this back right here. I'll take my bigger scissors and come back and cut some of that stem off right there. Once I got it cut off there, I'm gonna lay the marabou right there about where it's gonna go. And I will make me two or three loose wraps right there just to hold it in place. And I'll start back at the head of the jig. Very tight, keep it down secure. And we're gonna go all the way back, right off the end of the tip there, make a few turns. Then we'll come back up. Very important to keep this tight. This is what's gonna keep your jig from falling apart when a fish hits it. So now that we got that done, it's time for our Chanel. You cut a piece, I don't know, seven or eight inches is plenty. All right, got my Chanel ready to put up here. What I'm gonna do is lay it on top of the jig right here, uh, straight, even with the wire. It's gonna stop right there at the back of the jig head. Take my thumb, I'm gonna hold that down. I'm gonna take the other end and I'm gonna start back here where the the jig goes into the wire and I'm gonna make a couple really tight wraps back there. Once I get those first two wraps, we're just gonna start working our way up to the jig head. Now you want, this is very important to make these wraps really tight and try to slightly overlap each one of them. We want everything staying good and tight and you want this body to be kind of symmetrical where it looks natural, where you don't have any lumps or anything in it. You want everything to be about the same size I go all the way up to the head there. Should be good. And we got a wrap, so I'll hold this end right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thread. I'm gonna make a couple tight wraps around it, like two or three. Then I'm gonna bring this over, and this is what's gonna tighten this down. I'll make a couple more there, right behind that jig head. I'll move it. Then I'll make me a couple more. See, I don't have a hook to that Chanel now. Everything's good and tight. All right, and the last step here, uh, a lot of people, this thread finisher, it comes with a kit, but I don't use it. Uh, haven't really mastered it good. So I use the half knot. A lot of people do use the half knot. So what I'll do is I'll come down here and leave me, I don't know, six or seven inches of thread here. I'll take my scissors, cut that off. And what I'm gonna do is just make a half knot here. We wanna cinch that up right behind that jig head. Really tight. We're gonna do one more. Sometimes it's a little bit of a pain. There it goes. You see it right behind that jig head. Cinch it down real good. And take your glue. You're just gonna put a little drop of glue right there. And that's not gonna go anywhere. You can take a hair dryer if you wanna dry it real quick. I don't have one down here with me. So we'll let it set for about a minute. Then we'll clip it up. All right, the glue should be about dry. So what we'll do is we'll take our little scissors here and we are going to take that chenille and cut it as tight as you possibly can up to it right there. Cut that tag end off. 
And on your thread right here, you're gonna do it the same way. So you don't have nothing sticking out loose or anything. All right, you're ready to take it out of the vise. And as you can see, it's, it's really long right there. So what I'm gonna do is try to take it about right there. And they're gonna make me a cut. My scissors are stuck on my thumb. I'll just make me a cut right there. About so long. If you got a few stragglers there, you can kind of cut them to shape. And there we go, we've cut the end off there. You can see there's the whole body of the jig right there. And that's the main jig I use in the winter time for crappie fishing. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll put the links in the description below for uh, the kit I use. And if you're interested in buying any of these jigs, I make uh, jigs for crappie and bluegill fishing. And I also make a lot for uh, the cat fishermen for uh, catching skipjacks. I'll show you this little jig right here. This is a sickle cell hook right here. This is a 132nd ounce jig. It's white, matched the shad. It's just a smaller jig there. But that's the ones we use for catching the skipjack. Those are on the site too. And I'll put a link to the site if you want to look at them or purchase some. So thank you guys for joining us and we'll see you next time.